Hello, my dears. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here. Oh my goodness, it's been so long, I think. The last video I filmed was in February, and I just want to say thank you so much for continuing to stay subscribed to my channel. If you hear me whispering or trying to speak softly, it's because it's very late. Well, late for some. It's 9.30 and my kids are sleeping already. And I've been trying really, really hard to balance my quarantine life and my hobby, which is YouTube or making YouTube videos for a very long time. I have tried to squeeze in recordings here and there and some have failed miserably. I have tried even just filming on my phone, seeing if I can upload, but I've been hitting like a dead end every time. So I figured, you know what, let's try doing this thing where I wake up earlier, kind of like how em Emily Noel does. You know, I took a lot of inspiration from her and then I thought, and then let's try to film when the kids go to sleep. So hopefully it works out and I am able to provide content for you guys in the future um, because I really miss this space. And now that we are living a, such an isolated life, I figured is the best time to like have this, you know. I also miss talking to a lot of you in the comments and whatever and I don't have social media anymore, but I did go into Twitter and I have now been engulfed into the Twitter world and I do have a Twitter so if you want to follow me on Twitter I will put up my Twitter handle here for you guys so you can message me there or communicate with me through there anytime and you know any place I mean the anyway so today's video guys is just going to be kind of like a um it's like a takeoff makeup and just get a little bit vulnerable and open up a little bit. I got this idea from uh, James Charles, you know, did the Instant Influencer um, series and I, I gotta say I really liked it. I loved every single challenge and the one that I took home or took like, like I was like, oh, I want to do that one out of all of the ones that I watched was the one where I have notes over here. Nikita and Ashley Strong or uh, Strash Me took off their makeup and kind of opened up together. And I was like, dang, that's a really good idea. Plus, you could see that my makeup is it's very old. <laughs> it's very much expired now and it needs to come off. So I don't have any more babbling. So let's just get right into taking off my makeup. Yes. Okay, so I always use coconut oil. This is the Trader Joe's coconut oil and some cotton rounds to remove my makeup. I have very, very dry skin, so I'm sure all the oily skin people out there are cringing right now as I'm about to put all this oil on my face. But um, yeah, my quarantine, let's talk about that real quick. Since like I said, this is kind of like an open up, take off your makeup, unwind, get vulnerable and real, like time here. It has been um, good and bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure everybody's going to say that, like it's been good and bad. Um, I did have a very personal, um, uh, how do I say it? Very personal thing happened to me that I'm not really like ready to that I'm not really ready to open up about yet, but eventually I'm sure down the line I will make a video about it. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is that I shaved my head. <laughs> yes, I shaved my head. I, 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 I wanted to make this my why I shaved my head video, but I don't know, maybe I'm still gonna do that. But I guess I'll get into that real quick since I just mentioned it. Why did you do it, Pam? Why did you shave your head? For years, I have been talking about how I don't like my hair. I was very self-conscious about it. I hated how thin it was. I don't know if you guys ever noticed in some of my videos, my hair, um, especially in this area right here, was so thin that it would, when it would get greasy, it would kind of clump up. And I have very thin thin sparse hair like right here you can kind of see it um and it looked like i had a giant giant bald spot in the top of my head and it made me so 
uncomfortable and again so self-conscious about myself that i just felt like i always needed to tie my hair back spray a whole bunch of like tinted dry shampoo to cover it up i felt like i needed to um clip it a certain way like it would drive me nuts and i would just stare at my head all the time every time i brushed my hair a bunch of hair would come out like in the comb in the shower the hairballs all over the floor were driving me nuts and i'm sure it's everybody's hair in the house but i just always felt like i was the one losing the most hair every day and i only washed my hair like um i want to say maybe two three max times a week hoping that it would help the situation but it never did every time i would get into the shower and i would wash my hair the hair fall out just it just pushed me to the edge and it would ruin me i don't know why like i feel like society has made hair kind of like a uh, a way to determine your gender like if you have if you're like if you're a woman you have long hair that makes you feminine that makes you pretty you know you you have pretty locks and and having full beautiful glorious hair is like pretty it's beautiful and i don't i don't doubt it like obviously i totally agree i think if you have beautiful long flowy delicious hair like obviously that's beautiful but for me i knew it's just never gonna happen like i used to have really nice hair when i was little and then i just destroyed it like i bleached i dyed i've been so many different colors and then got to a point where i bleached my hair once like three times in a month consecutively and i had that like ramen spaghetti hair that brad mondo like rates or talks about on his channel all the time and it was a nightmare and i told myself after that incident that i would never ever ever bleach or dye my hair again and i did i went like six years yeah six years without doing any sort of coloring or anything crazy like that to my hair and eventually like uh i got pregnant and postpartum hair loss is a very very real struggle like you really you get really emotional about it really distressed um if you've experienced it you know exactly what i'm talking about and i felt like for me it never ended like cecilia was four and a half years old and i was still experiencing the postpartum like hair loss and so it was i was fed up and it was it was time i don't have video footage of me shaving my head but i do have some pictures and i'll share those with you guys my husband ended up doing the back of my head and well you can see in this picture his reaction <laughs> i think it took him a couple of days to get used to it and then eventually like he pretty much helps me like shave my head every time which brings me on to the next point i think i'm gonna keep it like this for a while i really like it it's so convenient it's so liberating and fresh and i if and if you guys are new here i'm a very sweaty person i have talked about this on my channel for years like i think i've been on youtube now for like two or three years and i've always talked about how sweaty i am and this i'm not sweaty anymore <laughs> like that's the i mean it gets sweaty in other parts of my body obviously but like this area you know it doesn't ruin my hair because there's nothing to ruin i get up i can wash my head every day or i don't have to wash my head it's really just up to me um it grows so fast i feel like i have to um you know take the razor maybe like twice a month or something like that so that's the most i do with my hair and it just it's been the best thing i think i've ever done for my hair it literally has also made me more feminine like it makes me it makes me feel more feminine and more confident and when i put on makeup i feel like because my hair isn't the thing that i look at when i take pictures with my makeup on like i focus all of my attention on my makeup and how beautiful my skin and my eyes like look that it, again it's just just made me feel so much better my husband ended up buying me a really nice set of clippers and so i've been i've just been embracing it and i don't think i'm gonna go back anytime soon my mom keeps asking me if i if i'm gonna start growing it out and i keep telling her no <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna do it you guys i really really love this and 
like I said, it look at how happy I am. Like I feel happy talking about how I don't have any more hair. Like it's it's great. It's again so liberating. Basically, I've taken off all of my makeup and uh, I should probably go wash my face now. Um, maybe I will just title this video why I shaved my head. So I went into detail with that and I loved talking about it. Um, if you ever like get the idea that you want to shave your head i'm just gonna tell you to do it <laughs> you won't regret it like you might feel maybe okay i'm lying you might regret it for like a second or while you're doing it some people i've watched a couple of those videos of the i shaved my head videos and i noticed that some people do kind of like tear up because they're like oh my gosh what did i do but then afterwards they're like oh wow this feels so amazing and it really does like it's it's the best feeling ever in my opinion and it's like it's like i took a giant weight off of my shoulders even though there wasn't a weight at all and my hair was so thin and so annoying that it's just the best so yeah i think i'm gonna end the video here um it was nice sitting down to talk to this camera in my kitchen area all by myself again but it's totally worth it again i love doing this and i cannot wait to get back into the swing of things let me know if you can hear me okay i'm gonna try to turn up the volume as loud as possible or bother my husband to buy me a microphone so that i know that the sound in my videos are top notch but this is the best that I can do for now, and uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, okay, bye-bye.